Picture this. You're all set to hit the road, but when you turn the key, nothing happens. The culprit? A dead battery. It's a pain, no doubt, but what's really important is figuring out why it happened and how to keep it from happening again. There are a bunch of things that can drain a car battery, some you'd expect, and others that might surprise you. I'll walk you through the top 8 reasons this happens, how to spot what's causing the drain, and the steps you can take to make sure it doesn't leave you stranded again. Let's start with the most common culprits, shall we? It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Human Error Imagine you're coming home after a tiring day, you park the car and you're so eager to kick back that you forget to turn off the headlights or properly close a door or the trunk. We've all been there, right? The problem is, when those lights or systems stay on all night, they keep sipping power from your car battery without giving it a chance to recharge. By morning, you've got a drained battery, and the car's not going anywhere. Now, modern cars are pretty smart. They often come with alert systems that beep or flash to let you know if the lights are still on or a door's not fully closed. But if your ride doesn't have those fancy reminders, the best thing you can do is double-check everything before you head inside. Parasitic Drain Even when your car is off, there are a few things that need a little juice from the battery, like keeping the clock ticking or remembering your radio presets. That's normal, and it's called parasitic drain. But when something goes haywire, like bad wiring or defective fuses, that parasitic drain can go overboard, pulling more power than it should. That's when the battery gets drained faster than expected. Here are some of the usual suspects behind this kind of problem. Faulty door light switch. This one's a classic. If it's not working right, the interior lights stay on, sucking power from your battery. Faulty door lock actuator with an integrated light switch. Basically, it's like the door light switch but tied to the locks. Trouble here can leave things powered up when they shouldn't be. Trunk lock switch. Same idea. If it's not doing its job, your trunk light stays on and drains the battery. Faulty car stereo, or its wiring. If something's off with the stereo or how it's connected, it could be pulling power even when you're not blasting tunes. Aftermarket electrical parts installed incorrectly. If you've added something fancy, like extra lights or gadgets, and it wasn't set up right, that can drain your battery too. Broken alternator. Your car's alternator is basically the battery's best friend. It keeps it charged up and also powers the car's electrical systems while you're driving. Now, when the alternator starts to fail, the battery doesn't get the juice it needs to stay charged. And that's when the trouble begins. A bad alternator can't do its job, and eventually, the battery runs out of power. The good news is alternators are built to last a good while. Typically, you're looking at about 7 years of life or somewhere between 100,000 and 150,000 miles. Of course, that can vary depending on your car and how you drive it. Keeping an eye out for early signs of a bad alternator, like dimming headlights or a whining noise under the hood, can save you from getting stuck, taking short drives. The alternator is like the battery's personal trainer. It keeps it in good shape by recharging it while you drive. But here's the catch. It needs enough time to do its job properly. If you're just taking quick trips, like down the street to grab groceries, you're not giving the alternator a fair shot to fully recharge the battery. Over time, that can leave your battery running low on power and struggling to start the car. The best way to give your alternator the time it needs is by taking longer drives, ideally on the highway. That steady cruising lets the alternator work efficiently and keeps your battery charged up and ready to go. It's a simple fix that makes a big difference. Old car battery. Here's the thing. Car batteries don't last forever. Over time, they just get too weak to hold a charge. Under normal conditions, you can usually expect a battery to last anywhere from three to five years, but that depends on how you treat it. If you're driving in extreme heat or cold, or really pushing your vehicle hard, you might find yourself replacing that battery more often. Those tough conditions put extra strain on the battery, shortening its life. Poor charging. Let's talk about the charging system. Normally, when you're driving, the alternator keeps your battery charged up, so everything runs smoothly. But if something's off with the charging system, your battery can actually drain while you're on the road. One sneaky issue can be a loose belt connected to the alternator or a worn-out tensioner. 
These problems can stop the alternator from working as it should, cutting off the battery's recharge. The tricky part? You might not even realize it's happening until the battery starts acting up. Keeping your belts and tensioners in good shape with regular maintenance can prevent this kind of headache. Extreme temperatures. Your car battery isn't a fan of extreme weather. It struggles when temperatures drop below 10 degrees Fahrenheit or soar above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In those conditions, lead sulfate crystals can start forming inside the battery. Over time, this buildup takes a toll, draining the battery's capacity and making it harder for it to hold a full charge. Extreme heat and cold put your battery under extra stress, speeding up wear and tear. Keeping your car in a garage or shaded area during those temperature extremes can help protect the battery and extend its life. Loose or corroded battery connections. Even if your alternator is doing its job perfectly, loose or corroded battery connections can cause trouble. When the cables and terminals aren't in good shape, the battery struggles to get a full charge, leaving you with less power than you need. Make it a habit to check the battery cables and terminals every now and then. Look for any corrosion. It'll usually look like a white or greenish crust and ensure everything is snug and secure. Old battery. Let's talk about old batteries. They're like people. Eventually, they just wear out. After three to five years, a car battery might start struggling to hold a charge, even under normal driving conditions. That's just its natural lifespan. But here's the thing. If you're dealing with extreme temperatures, whether it's sweltering heat or freezing cold, or putting your car through heavy use, the battery can age faster. Those harsh conditions take a toll, so you might find yourself swapping out the battery sooner than expected. It's always a good idea to keep an eye on how long you've had the battery and watch for signs it's getting weak, like slower starts or dimmer lights. All right, let's get to the bottom of that battery drain and figure out how to fix it. If you accidentally left the lights on or a device running, the problem's pretty obvious and easy to spot. A quick check of the battery connections can also reveal if there's any looseness or corrosion causing trouble. But if it's something sneakier, like a parasitic drain, the detective work gets a bit trickier. Here's how you can track it down. Step 1. Connect a multimeter. First, turn off every device in the car and grab a fully charged battery for testing. Set your multimeter to the highest AMP setting and connect it to the battery. If the reading's over 50 milliamps, there's an excessive parasitic draw. Normal levels, like your clock and presets, should stay between 20 and 50 milliamps. Step 2. Check the fuses. Pull out one fuse at a time while keeping an eye on the multimeter. Start with the lowest amperage fuses and work your way up. If removing a fuse makes the reading drop significantly, you found the troublemaker. Use your vehicle's fuse chart to identify which component that fuse controls. Step 3. Dig deeper. Let's say the culprit is linked to your audio system. You'll need to unplug each device on that fuse, like the radio, power antenna, or any other connected part, until the power drain stops. That's your faulty component. Step 4. Repair the problem. Once you pinpoint the issue, replace the defective part. Some fixes are simple enough to DIY, but for others you might need a mechanic's expertise. After repairing, run the multimeter test again to confirm the drain is gone. This step-by-step -step process might take a little time, but it's a solid way to track down and fix the problem, saving you from a dead battery down the road.